Now, to bring this into clinical trials, we can't use optical imaging. We'll have to use internal emitters that can be imaged by either SPECT or PET imaging. Uh, this particular nanoparticle is uh, labeled with I-125. Um, the, the, the purpose is for us to bring this into clinical trials. And what you can see here is that the I-125 um, is act it actually is removed from the nanoparticles and is excreted in the kidney and taken up in the thyroid. So you can see that here in the thyroid and in the kidney. But that which remains bound to the nanoparticles uh, is in this tumor in the hind limb of the mouse model. Um, and this is the uh, uh, sagittal section and the, the uh, uh, coronal section uh, in the animal model. So we're able to image the biodistribution of uh, nanoparticle drug delivery. So what we're planning now, and, and actually this is one of the collaborations that I'd like to establish uh, in India, uh, is to conduct a phase zero and then later phase one clinical trial where we study uh, peptide-guided drug delivery to irradiated cancers, which would be an imaging study using PET or SPECT. Um, and the goal is to determine which type of cancer shows us the best binding for each of our peptides and each of our antibodies. This is one of the clinical trials that we conducted. Um, this is with a peptide called RGD. And what you can see here is that uh, the tumor is treated with stereotactic irradiation. Uh, the uh, radio labeled RGD is then administered, and we're able to see the peptide binding within the tumor uh, in a patient's brain. The, the second example that I want to give you is uh, virus therapy, which is also called viral therapy. Uh, there are two different types of viral therapy, either oncolytic viruses where the virus replicates within the cancer and causes lysis of cancer cells, or gene therapy where you put a, a therapeutic gene into the virus so that you can deliver the uh, therapeutic gene. And so the clinical trials that are underway for oncolytic viruses are for glioblastoma and the gene therapy clinical trial was in pancreatic cancer, and I'll, I'll show you that example now. So the virus uh, binds to its receptor on the, the surface of cancer, enters the cancer cell, and then the therapeutic gene is then released and enters the nucleus where you get uh, gene expression. Uh, in the clinical trial, and this was published in the Journal of Clinical Oncology uh, just two years ago, um, the patients had pancreatic cancer. Um, the pancreatic cancer is, is treated with an adenovirus that has a radiation-inducible gene therapy. That therapeutic gene is tumor necrosis factor. Um, it is called tnf uh, When administered to the pancreatic cancer, uh, we saw a good regression with many patients having complete responses and partial responses um, during radiotherapy. 